applications at Central University of Technology, which is located at Free State. They are open for 2022. Uh, this university is located at Free State, as I've said. It consists of uh, two campuses, which is the Welcome campus and Longfontaine campus. The university consists of national and international uh, students. It offers undergraduate and postgraduate programs. It also offers uh, N-level qualifications. All applications, they are done online. So as international applications should be reached uh, to them on or before 29 October, then certificate on or before 30 November. That means you have more time to prepare. You have more time to wait for grade 12 mid June re, uh, results also with September and then choose compare which results are better between grade 11 mid June and final result. You can check your status online if you have already applied. If you are doing metric, no document will be needed. You just need to apply online, but make sure that you have your results by your side and the ID copy. If you have already matriculated, they need your ID copy and your senior certificate. If you have completed a higher certificate than metric or at a college, you need your ID, you will need your senior certificate, and you will also need your qualification or study record or academic record or transcript. Those documents will be needed. All applications, they are done online. Hello everyone, I believe you are well wherever you are. My number here is all about helping each and everyone to revive their ambitions and reinforce their dreams. As I've said today, I'm going to show you how to apply online for this university. So what you have to do, go to any internet browser, uh, Google Crop, which is always the best. Then search www.cut.ac.za then click enter. Okay, once you are here, point here where it says study at uh, CUT. Come here where it says apply online. Then you click apply online. And then you scroll down. As you can see, applications, they are open and everything. So now you can read and click here, apply online. Or you can continue to read, then click where it says apply online. Then you click here. So, if you are a returning student, uh, if you have a student number and a PIN, you will click here to, to apply. For new applicant, you have to click here on this new application. So make sure that you have an active uh, email address. Uh, you have a sc uh, scanned all dec required documents as per the CUT website before you start your application and everything. Yeah, so without wasting your time, let's... Uh, continue yeah. so you can use a device or a laptop so if you have any inquiries you can send an email to this email address or you can call them at this number so now do you have a student number no uh, are you returning to, uh, to complete an uh, application no you can indicate depends on what then you can read all of this then you click next here <coughs> Then here we enter our biographical information. All of this, it is not comparison. So only the red uh, thing that are comparison. So then we go to the addresses, we enter addresses here. Then you search your postal code. You can search by your postal code or the name of your town. Uh, you will choose what works better for you. Uh, then you enter your cell phone number here. Um, you enter email, you verify it. Do you need any address? You enter it here. So here, these are the contact details. If you want the residence information, you can email it to these people uh, also or this one. So this one is for on the welcome campus, this one at the Plumfontein campus. So you can also try to call them. Then do you want rest? If I first day, I always advise that you must indicate that you want rest. Then do you have any dis disability? You can indicate, then click next. Next of kin, 
enter the next of kin someone that you're staying staying with then there's a phone number this one is this not commercial their address if you're staying together in their address then a postal code as I've said, you search with what works better for you. If it is the town, put the town. If it is the city, their email address. So here you can enter your information. It does not matter. Uh, or the person that will be paying. Uh, then your cell phone number. Uh, your process. Then postal code. Then click next after. So I'm applying for a postgraduate or undergraduate. You indicate are you upgrading? Yes or no? Then this is your metric result. You can confirm if everything is correct. Then if everything is fine, click yes next. Then uh, go and search. The name of your school where you last attended i think this video is helping someone and it will continue to help someone else there do you think so if you if so please click the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up then enter what they are currently doing you will indicate if you're investing student if you study at another institution you will indicate if you did if no you will click no then capture the information of your university you search it load it here from which year uh, to which year qualification name field Is it our debt? Yes or no? Which year was it our debt? Uh, choose the year. Uh, level which is not commercial. Uh, did you pass it? You can indicate was it a post graduate or post diploma? You will indicate if which qualification you did. Then click add um, qualification. Then click continue with application. Then to verify information, here it is. You can capture subject and everything if you want to uh, but it's too much so let's click next so academic year 2022 then you come and search for the faculty here let's say you want something in health and environment then you click search to search your your program let's say you want something maybe in uh, agriculture let's say in Science and environmental. Uh, let me check this one. And then here, yeah, study period one. So this one will be studying at Bloemfontein. Yeah. So you are allowed to enter to uh, qualification. So application types, national applications, and previous study. Yeah. So now you can remove this if you made a mistake and re-enter your information you can enter a, a, a second um, a second application so let's click next then you can verify your information here uh, your biographical information your metric results or your previous studies uh, qualification and everything then click continue then create your pin here then click accept this thing is not activated so after clicking here so you can deselect this and select it again then click submit so just like that you have completed academic application has been completed so now you will receive a confirmation that your application has been submitted or completed but do you have any electronic document say yes uh, because I have indicated that I have completed metric and uh, studied at another university, you can see now that they need my metric national senior certificate, my IT copy, a transcript or academic record or study record. 
if you are upgrading your national senior uh, national senior certificate result the metric will load it here then click complete you have your student number here and your names ladies and gentlemen just like that you have applied to the central university of technology do you have any qu uh, questions do not hesitate to contact me my contact details will be found in the description of this video below so make sure that you contact me let's talk let's find out what is your problem where are you struggling ladies and gentlemen good luck with your application and take care of yourselves